Welcome back. We have already discussed how categorical data is added to a regression through dummy variables. However, if you need to add many dummies simultaneously, there should be some shortcut, right? Well, Pandas is equipped with a very useful method called getDummies. GetDummies spots all categorical variables and creates dummies automatically. An extremely important note is that if we have n categories for a feature, we have to create n minus 1 dummies. Why is that? Let's consider brand. There are seven categories Audi, BMW, Mercedes, Mitsubishi, Renault, Toyota, and Volkswagen. BMW dummy would be 1 if the brand is BMW and 0 if it is not. Mercedes dummy would be 1 if the brand is Mercedes and 0 if it is not, and so on until Volkswagen. For the first brand, in this case Audi, we will not create a dummy variable. The reasoning is as follows. If all other dummy variables are zeros, it's clear that the car is an Audi. If we include a separate variable, called Audi, we will introduce multicollinearity to the regression, as the Audi dummy would be perfectly determined by the other variables. Thus, if we have n categories, there will only be n minus 1 dummies. Okay. Let's create a new variable called data with dummies equal to pd get dummies of data no multicollinearity. We'll add an additional argument drop first and set it to true in order to make sure no dummy is created for Audi. Okay, let's check the newly created data frame. Not only brand, but also the other categorical features, namely body, engine type, and registration, have been replaced with their dummies. This is very convenient for us, as we only needed one line of code to pre-process all categorical features. To reinforce both the VIF concept and the dummy creation, here's some homework. Please check the VIF of the features including the dummies. You can also try finding the VIF of a set of features where you haven't dropped one of the dummies. You'll be amazed by the results, I guarantee you. Now I suggest we go back to our regression. To facilitate our work, we will reorder the columns so that the dependent variable is the first one in the data frame. The easiest way to do that is the manual way. We can check the columns we've got with data with dummies dot columns dot values. Next, we create a new variable called calls, C-O-L-S, where we paste these column names and rearrange them as we wish. We can simply place log price in the first place and leave the rest unchanged. Finally, we will store this in a new data frame called data preprocessed. So, data preprocessed equals data with dummies, brackets, calls, and we will have a rearranged data frame. Great! In our next lesson, we will standardize the data and create the regression. Thanks for watching.